a double whammy for Norfolk firefighters who also had to contend with a smoky afternoon blaze. Viewers sent us this video from a warehouse on 23rd Street and Llewellyn Avenue. The smoke was visible for miles and the blaze rerouted traffic for hours. At one point, the blaze was so intense, firefighters had to get out of the building and fight from above. And turning your size, Deanna Betneshi was there all afternoon. And Deanna, you say firefighters were there for a long time. They were. Well, once they got the blaze under control here in this building behind me, they had to stay and make sure the hot spots were out. And the battalion chief that was on scene here tells me they're still not sure what caused this fire. Dark smoke filled the air in Norfolk as firefighters worked to try and put out a fire that started in a building where the desk doctors was located on West 23rd Street. The fire marshal has now marked the building unsafe for use. We spoke with a man who was inside of that building earlier, and he says a handful of others were making renovations to it when a room he called the paint room caught fire. A witness who goes by the name of PJ says he saw the flames from a car body shop right next door and called 911. Oh, I was in the back and I heard a boom and I seen fire flashing out the vent. The smoke was so intense it could be seen for miles. Oh, the smoke was humongous, but if before it was smoky, it was flames coming out the vent, the brown vent there. Wavy producer Jeff Snyder was driving by shortly after the fire started and stopped to see what was going on. It was dark, it was pretty thick. It was billowing out of the windows and there, I think it was a, like a garage door on the side. It, it, it was coming out pretty good. The battalion chief says firefighters had to back out from the building and firefighters used ladder trucks to put out the flames from above. PJ says he told his friends to get out of their building that backed up to the desk doctors where fire was spreading through. It's just about a two foot alleyway or maybe not even not a foot alleyway in between. You know, so we, we weren't really worried about this building, but we was worried about if it exploded or not. The chief says no one was hurt and the fire was under control just after 430 this afternoon, but the cleanup will take much more time. And according to city records, there was no sprinkler system inside the building. Reporting live in Norfolk, Deanna Betaneshi, 10 on your side.